folks, I've had a number of people recently ask me about color grading in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I've done some other tutorials already on this, so there are some other resources you could use to see what I've done already, uh, but I am gonna try to do some, maybe a little more in depth than what I've done in the past, and say that I've picked some clips here. I'm gonna turn the audio down a little bit um, so we don't have to hear so much of it, but these are clips I've shot over here in this window. You see, this is our my preview. This, is, this, this window over here is this window here, and this window over here is my clips window, so if I go over here and click on various different clips, you'll see stuff that I've shot here. There's actually a little bit of flowers that might be pretty. We might saturate those a little bit. So let's go ahead and just watch a little. I put an end point in right here. I'm going to hit play. Here I am just talking, looking at the pine cones and mess. Okay, so we might use this little clip here. I'm going to put an out point there, mark out. You see that little line thing there? I'll pull the whole thing down. Of course, if I just wanted to pull the video down, I'd grab this and pull the video down. I'm going to do control Z and not and undo that. But so those of you who know a bit about Premiere Pro, you know what I'm talking about, how this works. But um, So over here is what I've pulled down onto the line, some samples. And let's look at just some fast color correction. Here I have a cardinal. It looks like I'm over the top of that. So you see if I drag this little thing here, you'll see this is my buddy Rich Cove when he was up here recently, and he's trying to get a pretty cardinal shot. So that's a pretty, it's a pretty cardinal, and the color's nice, but not it could be enhanced a bit. It was a very overcast day in Asheville. This is downtown Asheville behind the bird. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go right quick to brightness contrast. But I'll just go over here to and do the effects. Make sure your effects, not media browser, not info markers. Make sure effects is type, is, is clicked on and type bright. And you'll see it pulls up brightness contrast. It pulls up a, actually a whole thing if I take that out under video effects called color correction. So there are various different, if I take this out, let's delete that. We go up under video effects, you'll see there's a color correction here. And then there are all these different color correction, color correcting things here. Now I'm only gonna show you a few because there are certain ones that I really like better than others just because they're very flexible. So the reason I showed you, uh, this, is just, this is just my technique for doing one. I'm gonna type in BRI and it pulls up my brightness contrast real fast. I'm gonna pull it onto the bird. And before I go anywhere else, I'm gonna show you just a very simple thing to do called fast color corrector. I've done this before, but we're gonna go a little more in depth this time. So fast color corrector is right here. Now, I could do what I think will make this bird look, look nice, or I can do some stylistic things with these color corrections. So you saw that I added those effects on here, but nothing's happened, right? You know, you can't tell that anything's happened. What you do, you go up here to the top, where it says effect controls and you click on this and then you see your color wheel and stuff and you're gonna pull this down a little bit so you can see a little more, ah, you get over the top of that and you can pull this down and you can see your color wheel. You can pull this in and you can make it a little tighter if you want to. So I'm looking at this, you know, to make this bird really pop, I might, you, first of all, let's just show you what these things do. So I've got brightness, contrast and fast color corrector. They're both twirled down. If you click these little arrows, they twirl down or up so you can see what your parameters are. I'm going to leave them open. I'm going to twirl down brightness and contrast. Don't have to do that. I can, I can hover over the zero here and I can start messing with brightness. See, I'm going to do a control Z again, control Z to undo. Uh, but I kind of like to use these sliders for my brightness and contrast. And I can see that this one's just a little bit maybe washed out. I'm going to darken it just a little. I'm going to up the contrast just a little. And that makes the bird just kind of pop a little. You know, it's, it, I, I didn't know. Uh, so that's just real quickly, I just changed overall brightness and contrast real easily here. If I take the effect off, you see what I've got, and off and on, that's on, this is off. You click this little button over here, it says FX to sample and see. So maybe I like that, but you know what, I'd like for it to be even, even almost hyper-realistically saturated. And so that's where you come down here to where saturation is, you can twirl this down. You can go up even a little more, and look at that, and that bird's starting to really pop now. Now, of course, there are all kinds of tonal things you can do here. So let's say that we don't like the fact that there's a lot of blue in this. So you see this blue in the background? The way you negate that is you grab the middle and you pull away from the blue. The blue's over here, right? You pull back more this way, and it's going to make this whole thing look warmer, not so blue. So let's pull it back this way a little bit. And you see what happened there? That kind of negated a lot of the blue. I don't know if that's a look that I like, but I can certainly spin around here. You can see what all you're able to do. Just by, by you know, the, and the farther you go, the more extreme it handles like the, the color there, see, right? Now the thing that you, you also have here is you have a wheel on the outside where you can, you can spin this a little bit and fine tune your color, uh, actually change the angle a little bit of the color. So maybe I do want it to be more green or something. 
So there are things you can do. And, and what it does, it changes these bits down here. So I'm going to pull this on down just a little bit more so you can see. Now, I probably don't like what I've redone, what I've done there. I'm just going to delete Fast Color Corrector and bring it back in again. Put it back on the clip again. Just drag it onto the clip. And so now I could start again if I wanted to do some saturation. The thing I wanted to show you, though, was some of the other levels down here, the black level. So I'm going to saturate that just a bit more. I'm okay with the blue. And I'm going to go here to input levels. Now, if I back this off, look what happens. It brightens everything up. So you know where I made it a little, a little darker a while ago? I thought it looked washed out, but now it really doesn't. Now I'm able to change the input levels for the whole thing after doing a master brightness contrast. So I kind of like that. Now output levels here again, you can see you can brighten it. You can take the uh, kind of a little bit more of the low end out, or you can richen things up just a little bit more again or make it look like day for night or uh, yeah, day for night type shots. Now you can also unsaturate things. Let's say you want it to be more, more moody looking like this is a nighttime, almost an evening kind of shot. You've got all these things you can do. You can set your gray levels. You can set your, uh, I have total, total control over all these different parameters. And as you slide this one, you see it slides the midpoint as well. So now it's almost a wintry looking thing instead of a spring type uh, setup here. Let's go to another clip over here now. Let's go to this, this is the same kind of thing. Sky's a little bit blown out, it's true. So I could probably, with this one, I'm gonna do brightness contrast again, just to add a little more contrast. And maybe, maybe, uh, I need to watch what just BRI. I've got some ideas for what I might try to do for this clip. Uh, this time I'm gonna do three-way, T-H-R-E, three-way color corrector. Now this allows you to do some things with highlights and uh, so you see what you got here, you have this master but you have shadows, mid-tones, highlights. Just like what you had with the other one, it just gives you more options for things you can do. And you can, you can go in here and really just do some fantastic uh, tonal corrections. A, a lot of people say, uh, why, don't we use, why don't you speed grade? You can, you can integrate speed grade into this. I don't usually have to use speed grade though. 90% of what I'll try to do, I can do right here. So with this one, this clip, I might just decide, let's go standard with this. I'm gonna darken it just a little so we got a little bit more sky in there, right? Now, something you might choose to do, I'd be careful with it, but you can do a shadow highlight, S-H-A-D, shadow highlight here and pull it onto there. And you'll see what happens, at least you should. It, it usually goes a little too much. I just use shadow highlight very carefully. I do usually blend with original about 60% or something like that. Let's see what happens there. So now, if I turn it off, you'll see what I've done. All I've done is it's a little bit, brightened up the lower end a little bit, but not blown out the sky, right? But if I want to go here to the three-way color correction, correction, uh, correction, I might decide that I want my mid-tones to be, I don't know, a little, maybe a little less green or something. I'm going to pull this over this way so I can see these wheels just a little more. Maybe instead of green, I want it to be just a little more of that reddish color there, okay? Not, not too much. And uh, then I'm going to go over here. Let's see, mid-tones. I can change hue angle. I can change my balance gain. Let's do a little bit of this here. See, oh, it's a little too much, didn't I? A little, a little too purpley looking there. But I can go balance magnitude, and you can see kind of based on what I've done here already. What all it's doing is this is changing this. You can drag to it, or you can get in here and you can do very fine adjustments here at the bottom. Master, master hue angle, master levels. Let's go into master levels and see what we have here. Black level. So now, if I wanted to go in here and I want to. Uh, increase or decrease the levels of black actually I guess it would be no it does increase them so yeah that's what i can do i can actually go in here and do that i can go in here and take these gray levels and set a new gray point that's what happens let's see that brightens things up a little bit too much too much too much go back a little too little uh, move right along here somewhere maybe a little bit more than that and once again you can go in you can do uh you know your saturations and things as well saturations here so you get master saturation mid-tone saturation so if i want to just saturate the mid-tones i can do so and it looks a little livelier doesn't it that's kind of nice so you got tonal range definition here widen it just a little bit And so all of this, I don't know that I necessarily like it or not. 
It's just, it's just, I want you to get the idea that you can go here and change these things, change all these levels around and get totally new looks. That's blowing the sky out way too much. If we take this back a bit, that ought to give us a little more sky even. And so right now I'm, I'm doing a whole lot of processing with this. If I want these blacks to be lighter again, I'll just go ahead and drag those over. See, it was kind of a stormy, moody looking day. So what, what you can do, of course, like if you want to go here and brighten this a little bit more again, just change it back. Change it back a little, change your contrast up a little. And you're doing very subtle color changes to this. If I tilled into this, I'm clicking on this, I'm just going to hit the tilled key. Then you can see we have a pretty interesting, without the sky totally blown out sort of image here of Asheville. I'm going to hit tilled again. The tilled key is just above the tab key on the uh, left. And I'll, so over time, you've not really seen what this does. Let's start taking some of these things off. Let's take the brightness contrast away. And you'll see a much a subtle difference there, right? Let's turn it back on. Let's take the three-way color corrector off. And you'll see the difference. See, it was all a little, little too green before. Now it's a little more like what I think it should be. Shadow highlights, that's going to take the uh, shadows out. So there are a lot of things you can do here with color using the three-way color corrector, brightness, contrast, shadow highlights. Let's we'll slide over here to one more. I don't want to prolong this tremendously a lot. There's the bird again. Let's take another, another clip over here and look at it. So here's Rich shooting a golf shot. Uh, and so uh, maybe I want to just make this, this is kind of a rough looking golf course we were playing on that day. But say I want to just totally live and live and all that. Uh, once again, I'll, just, I'll show you my little method again. I'm going to go to, uh, this time I'm just going to do fast color corrector. Fast color corrector. I don't think it needs a whole lot of mid-tone stuff. It just needs a quick little fix, right? So once again, saturation, I'm going to saturate it just a bit more. So we've got just a bit of lively uh, liveliness in the color there now. It's not going to be quite so dead looking. Again, input levels, I'm thinking it could be maybe a little darker. Output levels, something kind of like this. And it's just maybe just a little too much green on this one. Let me go back this way just a little, a little bit like that right there. Here, here again, just, just, just this very subtle uh, changes here. Um, input white level. Your chain, these once again, these things correlate to these. You can see these things move as you can either slide around, or you can do it. Uh, you can you have sliders and all in here as well too. If you if you like doing it, if you like to that bright and like to do this, and, and, and you see you see what's happening up here on on this line when I pull that. It's just changing everything. You might as well just come up here and do this. So that's typically what I do. So you can create these looks. Now let's say like that we had two clips of Rich out here playing golf. Or we want to apply this to this one. That probably won't look good. Let's see what I've got here. It's probably my yard. But let's say we want this sort of same sort of look here. It's slightly pinkish, a little more away from the green sort of look here. We like this look for some reason. It's uh, something, we're, an effect we're wanting to use. You can fold these things up. You don't necessarily have to, but you can. And you just you can click up here as long as you have this this you know the whichever clip you're selected. You get you, you can copy the effects. I'm going to click that. I'm going to do a Control C to copy. Then I'm going to go to this one. I don't even have to set these. I can do Control V, and it automatically did what it did to the other one with that. If I want to go here and do the same thing, now here's another of my garden. It's a very beautiful color in that already. But I want to do that. Whoops! I hit Control C by mistake. Let's go back here. Uh, Control C. Now here and Control V, and it just applied that same tone to that. Matter of fact, if I want to do it to all of them, I can do this. I can do Control V. And it'll apply it. Now, what just happened? You see that? It, since it already had a fast color corrector on it, now it's got two. I need to delete one of them. See, so you can almost, you can create looks by doubling up on your effects if you want to. It really doesn't matter. I caused a performance alert there with my, <laughs> with my, uh, by doing that craziness. So, folks, these are the, the simple things I do a lot of times. Just fast color corrector, three-way color correction if you want to get mid-tones and affect those. Brightness, contrast, shadow highlights, those will get you a long way down the road. And you can see that you can kind of create looks. If you want to come up with a look that you like, and maybe you want something to be a bit desaturated, I'll use the fast color corrector again here. And maybe, maybe I want something just as simple as I don't want the saturation to be so high. I want something that's more like this, and I want something that's, I don't know, darker, darker and more moody. 
Uh, I can change my output levels here a little bit, a little bit less than that, more like this. And see, I like that look for some reason, or I want this saturation to be even, you know, slightly different, or this, the tone of it. Let's say we want to be, you know, CSI Miami, which is always kind of a reddish looking, isn't it? Or is that, that the one that's blue? I think blue's the New York one. The CSI Miami is always a little orangey looking. You can real quickly create a look that you want to use, and then you can, uh, you can save it uh, to other clips. And I like this, and here's something I haven't looked, split view percent, so I'll show split view, here we go, that's what I was looking for. So this is kind of nice, you can show the split view if you want to, I'd almost forgot about this, and you can pick a percentage of how much you, of it you want to show, and you can choose whether you want horizontal or vertical. So this might help you too, if you decide you want to uh, work with your looks and see what, what did you start with, this will always be what you started with, this will be what you finish with. So hopefully folks, this kind of helps and give you some ideas of just the possibilities. And uh, you know, let me know if you have any other questions about color correction. Um, with me, I think it's, a, I, I take that less is more type approach. Um, I don't try to do anything that's real radical. The one thing I do is, is just try to, sometimes I try to just bump up the saturation a bit. Folks, this may have seemed like a disjointed tutorial, but hopefully it's helped. Uh, if nothing else, you've seen where they are, how to apply them, that you can apply them across uh, multiple clips and that the effects controls and all are up here. And this can all be keyframed too. You can actually change the saturation or the color or something over time. So that's another, another video we'll do at another time. And we will at some point talk about speed grade as well. Folks, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Peace to all who watch and subscribe if you like.